Hi, I'm Clara from Online Fabric Store. Today I'm going to be making storage bins out of fabric and cardboard. These are great for storing stuff like toys or sewing supplies. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are one yard each of two coordinating fabrics. I'm using orange broadcloth and Premier Prince Rosa Mandarin Dosset. A small piece of chalk cloth, cardboard, thread, pins, a sewing gauge, which is optional, a fabric marker, a box cutter, a yardstick, a rotary cutter and mat and or scissors, a hot glue gun, and also an iron and ironing board. This box is 12 by 12 by 6 inches high, which is the size I want my box. So I'm just going to cut the flaps off the bottom and the top of the box. I also need a 12 by 12 piece for the bottom of the box, so I'll measure and cut that. Next I'm going to measure and cut two pieces of fabric that will form the sides and bottom of the box. One for the inside and one for the lining. To determine the measurements, add the bottom width and the height of the two sides. Then, if your box is rectangular, measure the bottom length plus the height of the two sides. Add 10 inches to both these measurements. So for my box, I'm cutting a 34 by 34 piece for both fabrics. I also need another piece of the inner fabric, which will cover the bottom cardboard insert. So I'm just gonna trace around the cardboard, adding about an inch and a half to each side. Next, I'm gonna hot glue the fabric to the bottom cardboard piece. Set this aside for now. Next, I'm gonna iron creases to determine where to sew the seams that will form the corners. Fold over one of the sides 10 and 3 quarters inches and iron. Fold over another side and iron it, but don't iron over the first crease. I want the inner square that's being formed to measure 12 and a half inches, so I'm marking that with pins, folding the fabric over to find the pins on the other side, and ironing it. Then take the two pieces of fabric apart. Take one of the pieces and fold the fabric diagonally and match up the creases at one of the corners. Sew along the creased line from the corner of the inner square to the raw edge. Repeat this on all corners of both the inside and outside fabrics. With these seams sewn, the fabric forms a box. Trim off the excess fabric. Next, I'm going to add a chalk cloth label to the box. First, you have to season the fabric by rubbing it with chalk. Then wipe it off and repeat. I'm cutting my label to be two by four inches. Place the chalk cloth on the front side of the outer fabric so it's centered between the seams and about one and a half inches from what will be the bottom of the box. Put a couple dabs of hot glue down to hold it in place. Next, I'm going to sew around the edges of the label. You can choose a straight stitch and sew just inside the edge of the chalk cloth or use a stitch like a zigzag and sew on either side of the edge. I'm using one like this that's a little more decorative. Next, I'm gonna put the cardboard into the fabric pieces. So take your outer fabric and make sure the right side is facing out. Put the side pieces of the cardboard into the outer fabric, then nest the inner fabric inside this. Finally, put in the cardboard bottom piece. Fold the raw edges of both the fabrics inward about an inch and keep on rolling until it's folded over the edge of the box about one and a half inches. You can make these bins in a variety of sizes to fit your needs and they'll add style and storage to your shelving. Thanks for watching this OFS project.